Hey, everybody. Another month, another round of microgrants. Every month, we try to feature several projects that we find exemplary in some way and give them a small support grant. This time, we gave grants to some particularly awesome projects. First up, we've given a grant to Coreboot. Most people watching this will probably already know about Coreboot, but just in case you don't know, it's an open source firmware project designed to replace proprietary BIOS or UEFI firmware that comes standard with most computers. People generally appreciate the fact that it's designed to make laptops and desktops super quick to boot up compared to proprietary BIOS. It also has lots of support for a range of secure boot processes and setups. Core Boot is definitely worth a try if you're interested in faster boot times, improved security, and more control over your computer. We also funded another Core Boot related project called Mr. Chromebox. This is a super popular firmware project that allows users to run alternative operating systems on Chromebooks and Chromeboxes. You can change the BIOS or UEFI firmware on your Chromebook and easily install Linux or even Windows on Chrome OS devices. It's a project that's rapidly adding new updates and new device support for all sorts of Google products. A lot of older Chromebooks reach what Google defines as their AUE, or Auto Update Expiration, which allows Google to stop supporting and updating the devices. With projects like Mr. Chromebox, you can remove all Google software off your device and never run into any of these arbitrary product cutoffs. Next up is ExifTool Vendored, which is a library made by PhotoStructure. Previously, we funded ExifTool, and now we're funding another related but different library. Image uses ExifTool Vendored extensively to access ExifTool in a type-safe way from within the server code. ExifTool Vendored is more than just type-safe ExifTool, though. The project allows custom handling for the huge array of different formats that can be generated by various cameras. If the image team had done this manually, it would have been a huge amount of work. So we're very grateful to the maintainer of ExifTool Vendored for building and maintaining this library and also being responsive to any issues we have with it. Last, but certainly not least, we're giving a grant to Wireshark. Wireshark is a powerful and widely used open source network protocol analyzer that allows users to capture, inspect, and analyze network traffic in real time. It provides a deep level of visibility into what's happening on any network at a granular level. It captures a stream of live traffic from network interfaces and allows it to be analyzed with a really nice set of filtering mechanisms. Essentially, any kind of analysis you would want to run on network traffic is available through Wireshark. It's useful for network administration, troubleshooting, and penetration testing. It essentially allows you to eavesdrop on a network interface and see everything that's happening. That's all we had for September, or I guess it's October already. Anyways, see you guys.